Hi, this is Pony Chin, Director of Media for Everfree Northwest. And this is Light Solver, Head of Fan Media Relations for Everfree Northwest. And, and you're you listening, are listening to, to the MBS show. show. Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 114. I am your host, Omar Sanzo. Joining me today is Romo. Hello, all you happy people. Hey, Rom, how are you doing, man? Awesome, awesome. So, tell the audience what I told you. We're off to a good start today, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rom. Yeah. You still there? You told me a lot of things. <laughs> uh, well, okay. I like you so much, I drag you on to be a regular. Right? Oh, that part. <laughs> Yeah, the last show I was on, it was really awesome, and you invited me to be a co-host, and I'm still trying to get over this, I still can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah, co-host! So yeah. much squee! Yeah, new co-host, new awesomeness. Uh, but anywho, I'm going to leave you at your corner, let you breathe for a while, and let me introduce the guest host for this week. And the guest host for this week is Kitsune. Hello, Kitsune. Yo! How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm back, baby! Yay! That's awesome. And this episode is going to be a woozy for you. It's going to be a woozy for everyone. Indeedy, indeedy. And our guest for this week is Nightsover. He is a fandom media relation lead for Everfree Northwest. How are you, man? Uh, I'm alright. How about yourself? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Just, wow, backstory. I- I'll tell that near the end of the show, but I'm doing well. It's good to hear. Indeed. So, like before we start the show, I need to ask you the four important question. And question number one is, who's your favorite character? I'm gonna definitely have to say Luna. Luna. Why Luna? Because um, I, I know everyone likes the moon butt, but <laughs> why Luna? <laughs> oh man, she's just so awesome. And every and everything that we've done that we've seen, you know, just being so comically awkward sometimes, but. Awesomely lovable. Mm, did you read the comics? Yes, I have, and even in the comics, she is even better. Actually, that's what my Skype picture is set to right now, is one from them. Yeah, <laughs> I see that, because oh, that looks really good. Yeah, I love that. She's, she's awesome. <laughs> Alright, well, can't go wrong with Luna. So, uh, uh, nope. second question is, um, favorite episode? I honestly can't really say off the top of my head which one's the favorite. I've Probably, maybe I have to say from the coronation. I honestly, there were some pretty, there were some pretty bad parts in that, but yet yeah, some really kind of cool stuff that they did turn out. So it's the princess coronation. Um, that would be um season three episode, uh, the last two episodes, thirteen. Yeah. Oh, um, that yeah. would be magical mystery cures. Yes. Yeah. I, th- I guess I'd really have to say that. That was pretty cool in parts. That was a good musical. Oh, definitely. The start of a musical. Um, yeah, that's that's what I liked. All right, awesome, awesome. And question number three is, how did you become a fan of the show? I was on a server where hosted by a friend playing this one game, and I was with another friend of mine, and we met this one guy on there, got to talk with him, you know, he's a pretty cool guy, we had him on Skype, and he had a strange picture, which bewildered us. And so he inquired more into it, and he told us that he watched the show. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. And then, oh, yeah, my friend started watching it. I thought, hey, there must be something to it, so I started watching it. Yeah. Ah, awesome. Peer pressure. <laughs> uh, no, not really. He didn't pressure. He just said it's good. And I'm like, oh, it must be good. <laughs> uh, okay. So, because of friends, um, that that is a valid um, way to get into the show, because friends... And your friend must oh, yeah. have a lot of kudo points for adding you onto the herd. I don't really know because he just he, he told me to watch it like the next day after he saw like the first episode. So, <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, moving on to the last question, and the last question is, what do your family and friends think about your love for the show? Hmm. That's an interesting relationship. It's kind of an odd one. They they they. No, it exists and things like that, and sometimes joke about it. But other than that, yeah, it's, it's just kind of there. It doesn't always get talked about too much. It just sits awkwardly in the room sometimes. <laughs> uh, like that one strange uncle at Thanksgiving. <laughs> kind of, you know what? 
I don't want to think of myself as a strange uncle, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> Uh, this this topic has gone awkward. <laughs> but anyway, thank you, Flight, for answering the four basic questions. No problem. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is news time. And in today's news time, Equestria Girls going bald for a good cause. There is a new program called Ball Cartoons that is dedicated to helping kids uh, with cancer feel better about losing their hair. Brands that are taking part in this program are Snoopy, Hello Kitty, Garfield, Popeye, and our beloved pony turned human, Equestria Girls. Check the show notes to see how they look like. And guys, what do you think? And I'm going off with Rommel. What do you think? This is actually a really nice campaign. Raising awareness by shaving the their hair because cancer, you know, mm-hmm. it's a common thing that you lose your hair. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, um, the chemo that does that because, well chemo, radiation, you, you don't become the Hulk or you don't become Spider-Man, you, you lose your hair. Sadly, yeah. Unfortunately. Mm, true, true. But Kitsu, what about you? I think it's actually really interesting. Like, it's it's relatable and I think that's a, that's a pretty important part about, you know, speaking to kids and telling them it's it's okay because what the deal is with baldness when it comes to you know uh cancer or chemotherapy is is the image right yeah, yeah and a lot of the kids have problems with the image and just the image and i don't think it's even you know up to kids i have uh family members who have gone through this process before and even as full-grown adults, they can be a little bit, you know, conscientious about losing your hair, especially if you're, you know, a woman. Mm-hmm. So this is a really great way to, you know, sort of like identify with the subject while still being, you know, approachable, I guess, from, from, from a child's point of view. Okay, that's true, that's true. And Light, what about you? I'm just thinking about uh, if they would actually campaign for just the normal kind of ponies to be completely bald. <laughs> yeah. I think that would be pretty funny, although maybe quite possibly could make it hard to identify who is who. Oh, I, I don't think so, because the ponies have different coat colors, so that's easy to recognize. But when you're talking uh, about you're the, coats to, are, the coats are their hair. Yeah, you, those are going to have to go. You're going to have to get rid of them. Yeah, <laughs> See, I'm looking. I'm looking at the thing right now, right? And and they mentioned a few names which I found a bit interesting uh, at at the start because they mentioned characters like okay, Snoopy is part of it, right? Uh, Garfield is part of it. You know, what? these guys are already bald. No, not really. No, they're no, not. <laughs> I mean, technically, if you think about it, all they have is the fur. They don't actually have, like, you know, swaths of delicious... Uh, well, um, the, the way they solve Garfield yeah. is they shave him... They shave his head. Uh, so, they shave his head. So, if they're going to do that for the ponies, they're... I'm, I'm sorry, but they're going to have to be shaved. Like, no, I'm not even going to go. stop. Yeah, it's, it's all going to go. I'm not going to even just stop on the head. Like, no, all but, of it. But, Kitsu, it's not um, the ponies. It's Equestria Girls. Oh, no. All no, of no, it has to go, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Why should we discriminate between horses and humans? I think. Oh, okay. Uh, I think you're. Fair about it all. You're going off track, my friend. You're going off track. And I'm not sure what I'm talking about anymore. That's true. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I think we could have solved this whole cancer problem if we just would have invested into one thing nanotechnology. <laughs> uh, how to solve this? Nano machines. <laughs> oh, yeah. You put it in the blood, disease, everything. It's gone. Yeah, that, that is true, that is true. And as for me, I, I think this is a good way to put some confidence in the kids. And, you know, um, when when I was young, um, I was afraid to shave my head because there was kind of the trend back then. Why and did you have to shave your head? I don't know, it's just because. And I was kind of afraid to do it and I didn't. And now when I'm grown up and stuff, I, I want my hair to be really short. <laughs> Do you have a weird thing going on in your general country and area when you were young where being bald was a thing? I guess. But nah, let's move on. Let's move on. And the next news topic is Season 5 announced to be released in 2015 with 26 episodes. 
As season four ends, the ponyless drought starts, and before fans could start whining, the hub has announced that season five will premiere in 2015 with 26 episodes. Not much is known except for all of the VAs are reprising their roles. Megan McCartney is the co-executive producer. Jason Thiessen is um, the supervising director. Big Jim Miller is the co-director, and Daniel Ingram is still the composer for the show. Right now, writers that are confirmed for season five are Amy Kinney Rogers, and returning from his one season break is Emmy Larson. All in all, season five looks to be in good hands. So, Rom, what do you think? Season five. Announced 2015. That's coming almost soon. I'm excited. Are you? I cannot wait. <laughs> Just, I, I got this feeling in my bones. This is gonna be the best season ever. <laughs> really now? Wow. My gut has never lied to me. I know this is gonna be banging. <laughs> all right, all right. Kisu, what about you? Yeah, my gut tells me it's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, your gut versus mine. Uh, yeah, maybe, it's gonna, maybe, it's maybe, gonna be the worst thing ever. <sighs> maybe we should make bets if it's gonna suck or not. I'm betting ten bucks. <laughs> I'm betting ten bucks that it's gonna be an animation. <laughs> 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 All right, Eden. All right, they're not making the switch to live action this year. <laughs> well, we can always hope for season six, guys. Oh boy, <laughs> no, no, just no. Anywho, light. What about you? I'm definitely looking forward to this. This is going to be nice. Yeah, and Emmy Larson is returning, so that is fun. That's going to be fun. All right, who else is going to get wings? <laughs> yes, that is, that is true. That is everyone! True. <laughs> wings for everyone! I think that no, would be a little bit know, too much overpower. <laughs> well, you, you know, they got to even things out. You see, now, at the start, they had this good balance, right? They mm-hmm. had Twilight and all the others, and now... The shift has gone to the Pegasi, right? Because now three of them can fly, and three of them and has magic. Only, oh, and no. only two? No, only two of them have oh, magic. Okay. No, who, who got? Who else had magic? Who, who got the horn? Trixie. Who got a horn? <laughs> Trixie. Trixie's not part of the main cast. <laughs> what show are you watching? I think I, think I, can, I, can, I can think of a few people who would like to disagree or who would want to. <laughs> oh. Well, fair enough, but yeah, so the problem is now that there is no longer this zen-like quality of two Earth, two Pegasi, and two unicorns. Mm-hmm. Now we've got two unicorns, one Pegasi, two Earth, and one God knows what. <laughs> I think they call her Twilight Sparkle, <laughs> but I can't be sure anymore. She's just changed too much, right? So everyone, everyone's got to be an alicorn now. Everyone. <laughs> Right, and okay. that will restore balance <laughs> to the show. They will all move into libraries, which are also trees, and they will all burn down. Right, so everyone will be happy. Oh, oh, don't spoil anything. Oh, right. That's season five. Oh, God. oh I'm don't, questioning. Don't spoil you know. anything at the end of this season. I still haven't seen it actually. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. You want me to tell you something? No. Funny? No, I uh, don't want you to tell me something. No. Uh, I have not watched any of season four. What? I have not watched any of season four. You heard that right. And the only reason why I got spoiled is because today when I logged on uh, to FimFing, right, and everyone is like, oh, hashtag save tree. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, and, I've, I've heard and it. And I was like, okay, so someone's tree just burned down, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I know. Uh, all I know about season four is Twilight lost her home. Oh, God. I'm hoping that that's not true and that I'm just... You know, that it's only a rumor or something made up or a I, joke. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. But this, there's actually a petition. I tracked it down. It's oh, Yes, I saw Have that too. They, they made a petition? Yes. They I made a petition it. to save the tree because the tree is oh so important. Oh, God. Oh, the, the, okay. the I, is, I, yeah, you know, I, I think all of us far. here. All of us here, right, being, um, I'm just going to say, quite b- well-balanced and intelligent people mm-hmm. are just now hearing of the petition to save the tree and are just going, what the f- That's not a word! Is that? It's kind of uh, Strange. overblown. Oh. No, it's, it's just kind of overblown because or I can understand. it's a joke. Oh, it's not a joke. <laughs> These people are passionate about their hashtags and their <laughs> <positions>. <laughs> it's, it, They're so fervent. 
and I, 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 it's definitely not a joke. Well, if it is a big joke, it's a huge joke. <laughs> and mm. I don't know whose benefit it would be for because I think only like between in in the whole world, I think only you and I have not seen the last episode of season. No, no, no. The friend of mine hasn't either. That's actually who I'm waiting for before I watch it. Uh, We're gonna watch it together. Watched it too, from what I, I haven't seen it, but I did get a lot of spoilers, so uh. I could consider myself that I did see it. Or, <laughs> well, at least the uh. verbal, the oral version of it. <laughs> well, let's actually make a petition against spoilers. <laughs> Yeah, also, I, there, I know there's a petition to save. Wait, there's a petition to save Flash Sentry. What the heck? <laughs> He's not even gone or anything. Wait, I know. I'm if, just looking at it the, from what? Uh, I don't know. Just, I, I, okay, yeah, so himself. And I just Google petitions. My Little Pony save the tree, and I get official petition to save Flash Sentry. <laughs> Wait, did he burn down the tree? Was it? This one? <laughs> Was he in the tree when the tree burned down? <laughs> no idea. Oh, so this is a ploy. Someone told me that part. For Twilight Sparkle to try and cover her tracks, she shoved that entry in the tree. <laughs> and everything had to go. Alright? Okay. Burn anyway, it all. Anyway, this is so yeah, burn it all. Burn it all. It's like, I, I can't be associated with that horrible movie. I gotta get rid of all these other ancillary characters that follow me back. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> yeah, you know. What, anyway. are we, yeah, what are we talking about? <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the last news. And Buck 2014 cosplay contest and special guest Dave Polsky. So, you think your great and powerful Trixie costume is the best in England? Well, as Twilight Sparkle might say, prove it. So, if you have accepted the challenge, Buck 2014 will be holding their cosplay contest and entries are limited. Stay tuned to Buck's news channel or our show for more information. Also, Dave Polsky, writer for the show, will be attending Buck this year. He will be holding a workshop to talk about how his episodes are made and links can be found in the show notes. So, guys, I'll start with Rom. Rom, what do you think? Cosplay contest and Dave Polsky going to Buck. I'm missing out so much this year. Oh, A my. cosplay contest, that's one. And Dave Polsky, that's two. What am I doing here? So Barving, I guess. And Kitsu? I think that's really cool because uh, I know like Dave Polsky is one of those that either you really like him or you really don't. Because I've heard a lot of you know different opinions about him, but I really like Dave Polsky. I get his sense of humor. Mm-hmm. And I like his episodes, you know, for the fun little things they are. His episodes aren't too deep, but, you know, they are funny. And they've got great, you know, throwaway gags, visual gags. I like his stuff. So, yeah, man, if I could go to Buck, I would go to Buck. Hmm. And I would see Dave Polsky, hmm. and I would poke him all over his body. <laughs> and cosplay contests are pretty cool. Uh, so, I, I mean, Green and Powerful Trixie cosplay contest I have one thing to say about that yeah I put on my robe and wizard hat <laughs> <laughs> and what about you like what do you have to say about this um, I, I think it's it's pretty cool I mean god I, I must cost a bit of money to fly him over there but other than that you know it must be pretty awesome, especially for them, you know, saying that they don't they don't really get as much as the stuff over here does because, well, Vacations. yeah, travel is expensive, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And I'm kind of curious if Seth will be there. <laughs> I doubt it, but cosplay, because from what I heard, you guys are also going to be cosplaying, right? Yeah, we'll have those. We'll have that definitely here and over free. All righty then. So anyway... Um, let's move on to the next topic, and the next topic is guest time. And in today's guest time, we have Light. Um, how are you doing, man? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? I'm doing fine, and this show has gone topsy turvy, upside down, left and right, and all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been places. Yeah. Anyway, Light, uh, mind introducing yourself to the people who might not know who you are and what you do? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Light. I'm the fan media lead for Everfree Northwest. So. Light, what's your role in Everfree Northwest? Well, as you said at the beginning, um, I am the fandom media relations lead for Everfree Northwest. I what a what that okay? That's a that's a little bit of a drawn out term that um, probably would confuse a number of people and confuse me when I first started. <laughs> uh, basically, what that means is I'm the person who's in charge of working with all the uh, media groups in the fandom. Ah. 
So basically, if I were to go to Everfree Northwest and if I want to interview someone, I have to go through you? Yeah, that and also this show, actually. Oh. Yeah, like, you know, just even you know, outside of the convention, just doing stuff on, this, on shows and sites and stuff. Ah, so basically you go, um, for example, you'll come onto my show and you'll um, kind of want to promote Everfree Northwest like you're doing right now, right? Yeah, yeah, somewhat. Ah, awesome. That and get into a little bit of trouble, but other than that. This show has been derpy, so trouble is, uh, trouble is our middle name, so yay. No, just yours. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. So, um, what can we expect from Everfree Northwest this year? A lot. Oh you can you can expect a, you can expect a lot, but don't get your expectations too high. We don't want to ruin any anybody's expectations. Oh, oh come on! Oh, come on. <laughs> wait, wait, to sell your, wait to sell your con, man. Uh, don't expect too much. We're gonna have fun, but not that much fun, guys. Right? Just well, well, you see down. the thing. Well, you see the thing is, you always for everything you have your expectations so low that no matter what happens, you'll always be surprised and excited. You know, that's why I enjoy Transformers 2. <laughs> just, say, just saying, but, okay, I'm actually interested because I wanted to go. I'm going to be frank. I wanted yeah. to go. Well, I, I, hate, I hate to um, break you down, but yes, it's going to be pretty awesome. And, and you're not going to be able to see any of it. And now I'm We sad. can tell you all about it, though. We'll send you I'm stuff. Gonna, I'm going to go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh, go on. It's, it's not that bad, man. It's not that man. <laughs> But but anywho, um, are tickets open now? Yes, they are. They and they have been selling oh <laughs> quite my. certainly. Um, actually, when it comes to sponsor tickets, we're oh. out. We're completely oh. sold out on those. Uh, we still have attendee, I believe, and we still have patron. Uh, so what's actually the difference between those two tickets? Well, uh, with attendee, basically you. Yeah, just you know, you get admissions into the convention. Well, with the uh, patron, it includes uh, the perks of you know preferred seating at panels, one autograph voucher, uh, one voucher for a keychain of your choice, and um, the sponsor includes you know the preferred seating, uh, three autograph vouchers, one voucher for a shirt of your choice, um, and one seat at a private acoustic mu- music show. Well, that sounds that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And attendees are normal; they just go in and have fun. Yeah, yeah, they just go in and have fun. The rest of the ranks are just uh, monotonous and tedious. Oh, okay. And I do see here that kids under twelve years old enter for free, right? Yes, it does. Actually, that's really because um, we're we're sure a lot more family oriented. Ah. Yeah, we we try and keep as much of this show. Oh, okay, that's uh, awesome. So. When they say uh, kids enter for free on the 12th, that's with a uh, guardian, right? Yes, definitely. Definitely, yes. <laughs> okay, with a paying guardian. Then. All right, just, just need to be clear on this. Well, Lyot, I'm, I am under 12 <laughs> feet tall. <laughs> so I'm going to get in for free, right? Does, does this come with a plane flight? <laughs> because no. really, this is this is the one thing that I can't, you know, that's kind of getting in the way of me actually visiting. And you know, well, if you guys threw in a, a ticket for me, I'll have to talk about to business registration about that. Maybe maybe we can look into getting a um, free entrance and a free plane flight on that too. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm starting I'm starting a new thing, guys. Everyone who's listening right now, send Kitsune Risu to the con. <laughs> All right, give me money. I need money because I really want to go. And you know what? If I'm not going to go, then you should use that money and you should buy yourselves a ticket because this event is really rocking, like uh, seriously, really interesting stuff. Um, Now, I I was visiting the site. And uh, what's the site again, Light? Seattle, Washington. Actually, it's a really cool place. I, I Honestly... I don't know. I might want to move there. That's a. It's such a cool place. Seattle, Washington. All right. I've not yeah. been myself. Uh, I don't actually. Get, I don't actually get the chance to visit. Um, you know that side of well, that often. <laughs> yeah, been, I, I can I've see been, why. I've been around though. I've been around though. I've been to New York. Really? I've been to, I've been to Puerto Rico. I've been to. <laughs> really? Yes. I. I am a world traveler. I love traveling. It's just that this year I just don't have the money for it. So, I. I did want to go. I oh, didn't want too to. Too bad. 
Uh, yeah. What's yeah, what's whole... uh, what's Seattle like? What's what's uh, what's the whole place like? What are people, uh, like, you know? What are people going to be experiencing from the moment they arrive in Seattle, Washington, all the way up to you know the con? What can they be expecting, and you know what kind of what kind of feel are they going to get for the whole experience of Everfree Northwest? Well, for Seattle itself, possibly rainy, <laughs> very rainy. Um, Seattle, Seattle's on the, you know close to a mountain, so it, it rains a bit there. But uh, other than that, a lot. It's it's going to be really great, really cool. A lot of people are going to be a lot of really special guests that are going to be there. So, um, who's coming to Everfree Northwest? Who? What? What are the guests? Uh, actually, for one, we recently announced Rebecca Shoiket, uh, which is uh, the voice for Sunset Shimmer and singing voice for Twilight. Oh. Surprisingly enough, which is kind of ironic, but you know, really cool. Really cool, definitely. And also, um, the voice for Gilda and... Oh, Mary Hendricks. Yes, Mary Hendricks. And also, um, Michael Dobson, the uh, voice actor for Bulk Biceps. Everybody, yeah! Yes. <laughs> yeah, that he has one. one job and he does it well. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention also the uh, Georgia Ball and Heather Muthfer. And if any of you guys actually read the comics... Those names should sound slightly familiar to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I love Georgia Ball. That's awesome. I, I love the comics. Oh, yeah. And they're going there, and are they having a panel? Yes. Wow. Oh, man, I, I do love the comics, and I do want to know what they had to do to get the comic up. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they, it is an awesome comic, I, I do have to say. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so one thing I forgot to mention: When is this convention happening, and where is it happening? <laughs> it is happening in Seattle, Washington, um, at the Hilton Seattle Airport and Conference Center, and it is happening from July fourth through the sixth. Ah, so if I'm not mistaken, that's um, for the July weekend. Yes, that is. Which. Uh, a lot of people actually kind of question, you know, why did we do that? And honestly, we would love to do it at another time if we could get um, a space ah. capable of holding it that is, you know, good enough quality. Because, you know, we're not going to make anybody kind of go into a place that's really too subpar or anything oh, like yeah. that. And we're also not going to try and cram a ton of people into a tiny, tiny space, so... It's it's the best space that we could find for the money. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, if I'm not mistaken, last year was also done on the Fourth of July weekend, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so it's like a tradition. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. But uh, you know what? If you if you like to, you can always just come celebrate it with us. <laughs> Yay! That's awesome. You should. If you if you're a yeah, I mean, fan, you should. There's nothing else going on on the Fourth of July that needs celebrating, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, for you, I don't think so. But uh... <laughs> nope. I celebrate ponies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> but anywho, um, if I'm not mistaken, you do have some events before the con um officially happen, right? Like um, a drawing contest and also a fanfic contest, right? Yes, actually, we've already had those events, and uh, sitting with us right now is one of the people from those events. Oh, really? Uh, I wonder who is. Yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. there's me. Rommel, is it you? <laughs> I'm still here. Has he even paid attention? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm all right. So me say my name. <laughs> but but anywho, but but seriously, um, the the event, um, who planned them and how was it run? Those were planned by, get this, our events department. <laughs> uh, but right. uh, yes, uh, they were. You know, our events department, awesome group of people. They do a lot of awesome stuff. And it was actually their idea to do a lot of these events before the convention, which is really cool. I like that idea. And, um, yeah, we've had the writing contest and the art contest. And as you know, uh, Kitsune, who placed second in the writing contest. Indeed I did. Yeah. um, We also have, and we also have a number of writing contests, which... I think went spectacular. 
I don't know. What, what's your opinion on it, actually, Kitsune, and saying that you participated in it? Well, I, I came in, yeah, I came in from the side of the participants, and um, I've, I've seen quite a lot of contests, like, going on, because you guys ran it on Film Fiction, right? Yes. yes. Yep. Which, which is which is a great place to find stories about your favorite ponies. <laughs> and I think, I think it went amazing, because usually competitions get... I think at the most I've ever seen uh, was maybe 12 to 15 entries. You guys had, what, 74, something like that? Yeah, we definitely had a number of them. <laughs> I mean, it, it, was, it, was, it was amazing. Uh, the, you know, the response, the energy of the people, and, you know, everyone involved was really just so nice, and it was, it was fun. So, Buck have a cosplay contest, and... From what Pony Tim told me, you guys also have cosplay contest or something similar? Yes, we will. And, um, yeah, we'll be having a cosplay contest and things like that. Uh, we also had one last year, I know. And so you could kind of maybe get an idea of what we're going to be doing this year from that. Also, um, last year we did an event with a lot of the kids and things like that. That was really kind of cool where we actually brought one of them into a little story play from... One of the episodes. Oh, that's cool. That yeah. is adorable. Yeah, you can actually find out about it last year. Or, you know, just kind of Google search about that and you can probably find out about it. But, yeah, it was it was really fun. I know a lot of, even us kind of enjoyed watching it. It was pretty funny and things like that. Oh. And so, yeah, likewise for this year, I think, I think it'll be pretty cool too. All right. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you, you'll be also having a cosplay doctor or... A guy on standby to fix cosplay costumes? Yeah, that is the hope. And hey, that would be amazing for them. <laughs> yes. Yes, that would be. Hopefully, uh, we can, we can pull our own little, have our own little rarity. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too, because that would be awesome. And is the doctor gonna be dressed as rarity? Because I think that would seal the deal. Really. <laughs> that, the that would be awesome, and I honestly, I don't know, but if we can, I'll, I'll talk to someone about that and see if we can. Uh, pull it off, then. Yeah. That. Yeah, Either pull that or like uh, Sapphire Shores. <laughs> I mean, <that'd> be <laughs> Especially if he's going to be a dude. Because no, 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 we'll that... get him dressed up with all the attire and stuff like that, like the crown oh, no. and uh, all the other stuff. All right, then. That so, would be amazing. Yeah. Also, if I'm not mistaken, like just like last year, you also have charities, right? Oh, yes. Yes, we we always do. have lots of them. Oh, cool. So um, who will Everfree Northwest be supporting for this year's charity? Well, this year, we will be definitely supporting, um, we'll be holding another auction on the behalf of the Seattle Children's Hospital, which uh, last year we raised over, what is it, $35,000 uh, to benefit various research projects and patient you know, funds that are needed. And, you know, as this is coming from all the people, the fam, and things like that. And that's awesome. If I'm not mistaken, last year you had a guess or a, an auction involving a, a Comic Con Derpy, if I'm not mistaken. And yes, the guy who brought it got its signature from all of the VAs that were available there. Yes, he did. He, that was yeah, he was pretty awesome for doing that. He was a really great guy. Yeah, I actually I didn't honestly get the personally get the honor of meeting him and stuff like that. I actually wasn't at the convention last oh. year. Yeah. So because because from what I heard, the whole story uh, was he went to a couple of VAs, got them autographed, and funny enough, Tabitha Saint Germain got her name wrong when she signed it there. <laughs> yeah, that's from, that's what I've heard. <laughs> and the cool was part a... was uh, someone sitting next to him won the auction and gave it back to him. Yeah, I yeah, that was even like the that was the even better part. Uh, yeah, yeah, and. Honestly, that just that's that's why I just love this community even more. Yeah, I mean that mm, touchy feelings right now. I, I hope that happens again or something similar to that happens again. And well, I, I just hope you guys um, get a lot more money this year because from what I see, last year you got thirty five thousand. Is that right? Yeah, we got I believe around five thousand at least from that event. I but. Yeah, and actually most of that was just from stuff that was donated to us, which we then auctioned off. And, I mean, it was 
really awesome on the part of the, a lot of people who donated so much amazing stuff. For instance, like that comic uh-huh. book. All right. I just hope people this year would do something awesome for the kids because the kids, like we mentioned previously, do need a lot of support. Yes, it is definitely a good cause. Definitely. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Where are you? Did you say Jermaine signed her name wrong? Yeah, it's. Did the... She signed Tara Strong. No, no, she <laughs> wrote her name wrong. I don't know. It was on a derpy, a Comic Con derpy, so it could be an inside joke. <laughs> oh, she did really... Oh my god, that would be hilarious. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So, were there any highlights from last year's convention? Anything exciting? Something that can be remembered? Um, I'd say the whole event. <laughs> Definitely. Um, for one, with uh, the charity auction, we raised a total of $21,070. Um, and the had... The uh, cosplay contest that was that was really cool, lots of fun. Um, then there was the pony stock afterwards, which uh, had, we got a we measured a uh, 1.0 earthquake actually. Somebody like you know in the I can't remember where it was where the Victor seal was, but yes, that was actually measurable. <laughs> oh my! Yes. Oh. All right, yes. then. Yeah, so uh, hopefully we'll we'll be, we'll be checking building safety a little bit harder. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, there was a lot of fun, a lot of contests, and especially with all the all the events that we had and things like that. And actually, we had about uh, was it two thousand two hundred people there last year. We're hoping for oh, more wow. this year. Yeah, oh, that, that's good. Um, wow, that is good. That is good. So, uh, mo- moving on, um, I, you're going to have vendors, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> What can the guests expect? Like, what do you know? Would they be buttons and plushies? Oh, everything, just about. Everything. So it's safe to say that you'll see buttons, plushie, posters, um, live sketch and stuff. Is that safe to say? Oh, I mean, you can just go to our vendors page and you can get a, you can see all the vendors that we'll be having. And there's tons of them, you know, a lot of them. And a lot of awesome ones too, you know. But I've actually, some of them, I've actually had the uh, personal delight of meeting and things like that. And they're really cool people. And they make some amazing stuff that hopefully when I'm able to go there, I'm definitely looking into getting some stuff from them. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Because, okay, um, I have to say this because I see you guys have my little ties. And if you're yeah. in a working environment, <laughs> you really want to have uh, their ties. And... Uh, tie clippers or pins because they're so awesome. I've actually, I I think I know somebody who um, got one of those, and I've heard about them, and they're actually pretty good. Uh, they're made out of I can't remember what they're made out of, but it's a uh, it's really nice. It's got a high thread count. I know that for certain, and they're yeah, they're really nice. I've actually heard. And um, I'm looking here right now in front of me. They have the Twilight cane <laughs> necktie pin, so <laughs> it looks awesome. So oh god, yeah. Uh, well, people who are going to Everfree this year, you guys are lucky because ah, so much, so much good stuff. Mm. So, oh yeah, there's so much, so much jellies. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff that's gonna be. Hey, uh, hey maybe maybe you can catch some of you can catch some of the stuff on our YouTube though. You know, after the after the convention happens, I know there, so a few of our panels will be posted on our YouTube. So if you really couldn't go, you can make it. You can always you always check there and. At least maybe get a taste of what you know, what down what happened. Ah, all right. So okay, he, here's a, another one. Would the event be live stream? Parts of it, actually. Um, and I'm pretty certain I can say this. We uh, we hopefully have finalized our contract with PBL, and so that should be awesome having them there. You know, everybody everybody knows and loves them. Yeah, we're we're working with PVL, but yes, okay, I so, know. <laughs> yay! <And, laughs> say kind words for the overlords. No, I'm just yay. kidding. <laughs> yes, boss. No. Yeah, this no. is this is for you, boss. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but seriously, uh, PVL, they they do awesome work. They do awesome work. Yeah, yeah. I actually I know a lot of the guys and their staff, and they're really cool guys. They're awesome guys. Mm, cool, cool. So, um. Besides PVL, um, who else, uh, which other media groups are attending? Oh, we're going to have a, all, a huge assortment of them. Things like, uh, I've actually just heard about these burnishers, Chaos, uh, to 
Voice of Equestria and Candlelight Radio for oh, one. They're yeah. seniors. If I'm not mistaken, Candlelight Radio is seniors. <laughs> they've been a while. Yeah, they they've definitely uh, they've been around a little bit. <laughs> Anywho, um, most important question: You guys need volunteers, right? Oh God, yes. <laughs> so, what are the rules for volunteers? Like, besides the most obvious one, we no criminal records, I guess, but. Um, do they still need to pay their own tickets, or do they enter for free? Volunteers uh, this year actually started. You'll be, you know, they pay. They don't have to pay anything whatsoever. Uh, last year we had the thing: if you're a first year volunteer, um, you had to pay uh, for your ticket the first year. But then the second year you were reimbursed. But uh, starting this year, actually, as a volunteer, you don't have to pay whatsoever. Ah, okay. You know, which is awesome. Okay, but technically you need to do work and then not have fun. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, yeah. But then again, all all the work is is making the fun able to oh, be yeah. had, and you know, it it takes a lot of work, a lot of work from a lot of people and a lot of different backgrounds. But I I think it's worth it when when those few days come. Those are some amazing and awesome few days. Even if you're working during those few days, they're still awesome. Oh, true, true. Because um, I'm on your volunteer page right now, and I also see that um, if you're a minor um, wanting to volunteer, you also can do that. But you need to fill in a form. Yes, yeah. If you are under eighteen, you do need to uh, fill out the minor volunteer agreement form below, which is on the site. And, and you know what? I wish I could go there, and I wish I could volunteer because okay, one thing you don't have to pay, yay! But the second part <laughs> is it's fun working in the background, doing the whole. Oh yes, yeah. Because it's fun to be at the front, but it's even more fun to know what's going on in the background. <laughs> and we can oh, hang yeah, out definitely. with you, right? Yeah. 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 Awesome. You know, yeah. you know what? If if you if you're able to get here, I will I will see to it that that you can get in without any problems or anything. <laughs> you're just gonna. I, are you saying I'm going I would otherwise be held up because of my ethnicity. <laughs> Well, we actually will kitsu- we'll hold you up specifically because you're Kitsune. Um, but... Oh, this weird Chinese guy is at the door. Quick, guys, get the guns and the handcuffs. <laughs> is that what you think of Americans? No, I think that's what you guys think of me. Oh, yeah. I have I have so many interesting stories to tell. Uh, that's for another time. But my let's just say that my travels in New York were pretty colorful and pretty interesting. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I, I had a great no don't get me wrong I had a great time there I I love every place I love America as much as I love any other country but man was it fun <laughs> oh, right. but, you have charming black people in New York. <laughs> I, I have to say right. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not responsible for this that guy is, that is the that is that is beautiful that is beautiful <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Man, I'll, if you I'll, really want to see Charmy, you need to go to the South. Oh God, mm-hmm. Rom. Uh, anyway, Rom, I'll, I'll I'll catch you. We're probably gonna be, you know, in a lot of these sessions from now on. So I hope so. You, you'll have you'll have a lot of uh, chance to hear a lot of my stories. I I like to tell stories, so don't Ooh, worry. I love to listen stories. <laughs> We're gonna make an excellent pair. Hey, anyway, guys, um, I, I think that's um, most of the question I have, unless you guys have anything more to ask. I think that's all right for me. I'm done here. All righty then. So anyway, thank you like for, well, a kind of shedding a light on the situation or the convention. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't do more. <laughs> well, it's, yeah. cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Um, where can people contact you guys? For example, if they want to be on an event team or media or even register something or even volunteer what can they get you oh guys? that's simple uh you can just go to everyfreenorthwest.com slash contact us oh okay so uh easy answer is just go to their website and click on the contact us button and if you really want to type in the whole url is everfree dot everfree sorry, um, everfree nw.com uh, forward slash contact dash us Yes, that's what, what he said, because I'm derpy today. And <laughs> information will be there. And cool. Is this the third year? Yes, this is the third year now. You you guys are knowing what you're doing. and Oh, yes, we we're, we definitely know what we're doing. And um, there's a lot more to the convention that I barely even touch the surface on what all we're doing and everything like that. There is There will be so much more. And there even have, we have yet to even announce. 
Oh boy, it's announcement. Yeah, tons wait. of stuff. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I, I'll I'll be staying close on to the place where news comes out, and I'll announce it on my show at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. yeah, actually, uh, yeah. If you want us to send us announcements to you directly, oh sure, that'll be awesome. And I'll well, basically, I'll just shout it out on the show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly. Yeah, I'll start doing that now. I'll add you to our list. Awesome. Awesome. So anyway, thank you, Light, for coming here and sharing your stories with us. And also, thank you for considering us as one of your promotion outlets. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And also joining us is Pony Tim. Hey, how's it going? Hi, man. Uh, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, I could bear it could be worse. Okay, so uh, I, I think Light did a great job in answering most of the questions here. But if I understand right, um, your media relations? Uh, yes, I'm the director of media relations. Um, so what's the difference between your job and Light's? Well, basically, um, Light Salter, he is the director of fan media. So he oh. interacts with uh, people like uh, your show. Um, oh. And EQD sends out the press releases to uh, the fandom news blogs. Mm, oh, that sort of thing. Um, during the convention, if the uh, the fan media uh, wishes to you know, get in touch with us, um, they would go through uh, Light. Oh. Whereas mm. I'm more of a, I have my fingers in everything, and I, I delegate, uh, write policy, basically make the final decisions on things. I always consult uh, my leads first before I... Uh, so is that what you do? <laughs> well, yeah, I like to, I like to hear you guys' opinions. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tim. We were having so much fun, and this is kind of the whole uh, mood of the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, we've, we've been having a lot of fun here. Yes. Too much, I guess. <clears throat> so you're saying that you're in charge... For example, if I want to interview... Uh, McKay Hendricks, I would have to go to you first? Actually, you could um, go through Lightsolver since, again, fan media. And uh, if, uh, again, you can go him, you can come to me as well. Uh, I would recommend going through Lightsolver as that is his um, full position. So his, his entire job is to uh, work with like uh, you and other fan media. Uh, and if need be, I can uh, come in and uh, do whatever needs to be done. So there won't be any conflict between you two? I don't think so. No, we tend to like guy. each other. No, I tell her it's fantastic. He does a great job. Oh, only when you're around. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, what's that? Respect. <laughs> no, but, but seriously, he did a great job. He did a great job. So, uh, I, yep, you interview quite well. So besides that, we talked to Light about the whole cosplay thing. Is there anything more that you can add? Because uh, I do remember you telling me that you'll be having a cosplay doctor, something like that, or is it a cosplay medic? <laughs> I don't know the phrase. Well, there is talk currently of having a cosplay repair center. Again, I can't 100% confirm it, uh-huh. um, but I believe... And again, I can't give out too many details besides that. Um, uh, but I believe it is in the planning stages. Well, that would be awesome because I, I know a few cosplayers who had um, malfunction. At a con that I was recently on, um, this cosplayer, she had um, heels on and the heels kind of broke. <laughs> and Oh my, and this was on during the runway. And it was, let's just say, ridiculous one foot high, one foot low. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was fun to watch. Yeah, you know, actually, I have a similar experience. I was like in a cosplay thing once, All right. and I got to the con, right, and I realized that I forgot to put on any clothing at all. Right? <laughs> what were you cosplaying as? What? And I was naked, so could your doctor help with that? Obviously, we probably... Uh, uh, security. Security everywhere. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it, it's okay, because Lights also already threatened me with the security earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking about security, nice segue, Kitsu. Um, uh, <laughs> I draw attention to the segue. <laughs> Yay. Um, so, how would, be, uh, how would security be? Like, would it be strict? Um, who will be securing your con? We're not going to be uh, fascists at the convention. No, we're not going to 
be asking people for their papers or anything. <laughs> but security is there for the protection of, like, the guests, uh, the staff, and the hotel itself. As long as you're respectful uh, to everybody, you'll get along just fine with the security. But uh, if you're worried about something or someone, then definitely come to uh, one of our security. We'll have plenty of security. And speak up. No, bring it up so we can go ahead and handle any issue. We will have enough security that we could handle anything. Ah, all right. So would the security be, for your part, would they be um, volunteers or would they be people who do real security jobs? Well, some of them, I believe, do um, real security jobs. But in oh. the end, uh, everything at Everfree Northwest are entirely volunteers. Um, all of our staff are volunteers, from the newest volunteer all the way to our con chair, Royal Coat. And not only that, but also we have the luxury of having the famous and infamous line monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a guy, I love the line monkey. Oh, yes. Yeah, she'll definitely be helping out in that area and aspect. And she's always been great there, too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't remember if you guys had this, but did you guys had any military bronies volunteer as uh, security? I believe so. I couldn't uh, point out who they are, but um, back in my mind, I, rem- I think I remember that some of our uh, staffers are former military or current military. Oh, because I did remember the last con that, that happened, um, that con should not be named in Vegas. When that thing went down, the military bronies man up and became security for that con. Which makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I did remember something like that happened. They're pretty good people. I mean, if you're joining the military, it's all about service and um, protecting people and helping. So, honestly, yeah, I'm not too surprised that when uh, things went south, that the uh, military police would have uh, stepped up as uh, in property security. So, Tim, we did talk about um, a couple of events, like the drawing contest and the writing contest and I did mention to you that one of the second place winner is a personal friend of mine um, his name is sure. Kitsune Risu and technically he's in the call right now oh that guy <laughs> yeah uh. what, an, what an idiot man who's, who's this guy Light, you know this guy no I don't who knows this guy I know no one knows this guy and no one I should know. I know uh. right oh god oh god yeah, yeah, so I'm Kitsune Risu. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, <laughs> no, it was actually, we had so many good responses to that contest. Uh, I know, I know. I was actually just telling um, Light earlier because he was asking me how I felt about from my side. And uh, usually in the contest on Fimfic, I- I'm just repeating this here, but usually in a contest on Fimfic, I've never been in a contest which has more than like, you know, 12... 13 responses and this one had like 74 I think if I if I can remember how many exactly uh, submitted 74 and 75 74 75 right and I, I just I just felt it was amazing speaking like, of contests yeah. uh, we are still planning on having a PMV contest ah yep um, and we should be announcing that in the next day or two oh cool um, didn't you do that last year yes, no, I did, did. Oh, I'm cool. doing it again this year awesome 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 yeah, and speaking yeah. of writing, I mean, yeah, uh, we're actually also getting ready to do a pre-con writing panel uh, on plot. I believe it's going to be around the uh, the 18th of May. Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, hopefully we can be able to do it then. From what all it looks like, that's going to be the time. Yeah, it's still in the works, but uh, we've actually already had one pre-con writing panel on setting. That was a couple weeks ago. Um and uh, we're going to have a third one. Well, let's see, we're at, already at 16 panels and events, if I remember correctly, with our writing track. And uh, they just couldn't stuff everything they wanted to do. So they're doing these pre-con panels. <laughs> wow, well, our so... writing track has always been strong, but it's never been stronger than it is right now. Oh, yeah. We we definitely have a lot of strength when it comes to writing and things like that. You know, that's, that's I, actually one of the reasons why I really wanted to go f- uh, to this con, because a lot of the other cons, the focus is really never on the writers. You know, the writers get stiff. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to be honest about that. In in the fandom, or in any fandom, 
you know the peop- the musicians are always in in high in, in the high limelight, and then you have animators, you you have the voice doubles. And you have the writers who are like screwed away in the corner, <laughs> just uh, you know picking up chips off the floor that other people <laughs> drop because that's the only mm, sustenance yes. that you're going to get. And <laughs> your con really appealed to me. And yeah, I know. Um, actually, I keep forgetting how to pronounce his name. Uh, Pico. 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 Right? Yeah. Pico. Pico did invite me. Uh, to actually come along, but unfortunately, I just don't have the cash. Yeah, well, coming from Singapore to Seattle, that's a bit of a distance. I know, <laughs> right? It's it's a it's only a twenty eight hour flight. So, one of my only twenty. Yeah, yeah. Only, like, it's only losing a I would, day. I would spend one half. Way. I would spend half of my holiday on a plane, <laughs> and the other half, like you know, hanging out with you guys. But like, so yeah, it'd be I would, fantastic. I would, I would, but no, <laughs> I, I understand. You know what we should do? We should get a plane so that way we can hang out with them on the plane. <laughs> that is a fantastic oh, idea. Air, like, Air Luna. Call it Air Luna, right? Oh, oh my and God. have a party in the sky. Oh. Well, you, you know those you know those big planes? Where, uh, I can't think of the name of the planes, but they they, they got the uh, in-flight uh, sh- like shop or whatever, and oh, what, they Air have Skymore? bathtubs and stuff like that, and it's all in the plane. We should get like one of those and completely turn oh, it like, into yeah, a new yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or you know you know that that plane that they uh, do the tests for the uh, zero gravity stuff on? Oh, the vomit should, comet. Get, yeah, the vomit comet. We should get we should rent that out. And we can all pretend we're on the moon. <laughs> and Luna, and like Celestia has but the moon actually has asses. gravity. <laughs> yeah, oh, and fun. then we can have the other side, which it gets its name from. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, Tim. This has derailed so bad. <laughs> Hi, Tim. This is my I, life. I welcome the derailing. <laughs> it's always fun. Besides the contest, I mean, we actually do have a film fiction account and a film fiction group. I believe we are at 77 watchers at the moment and uh, at 109 followers on the group. And uh, we're actually recently, well, about a month ago, started up a uh, fanfic spotlight each Thursday. Uh, so I've, you can... I've been uh, we, it. yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. We, we list uh, three stories and one community uh, choice. Um, so if you go into our comments, you can comment and say, hey, I like this story, I'll check it out. And uh, we may spotlight it. Um, but yeah, so we, we are doing a ton with writers uh, this year. I'm feeling like the writers do need the love because whenever, for whatever show it is, when they watch it, they don't really appreciate how it's written. They just appreciate the actors and how action-packed it is. And the director gets most of the credits. And, well, right, the writers need the love too. And from Kitsune's point of view, he really appreciates that. <laughs> And so do I. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, like, I yeah, I mean, we support fanatic writers. We also support um, the writers of uh, the show and the comics themselves. I mean, we have two of the uh, comic authors uh, coming. Ah, if I remember right there, give me a second, because I'm derpy with names. Um, Georgia Ball and Heather Nuch- 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 Nufer? Nuf- Nufer, yeah. Nufer, Nufer. Nufer, Nufer, yeah. And yes, I, I love I love Georgia Ball. I love her, um, you know, her addition to the MLP micro series. Hers was the Celestia arc. Oh yeah, and oh, that yeah. story was so touching. Like it was, it was, it was a simple story, but you know what? It was nice. It was wholesome, and I felt good at the end of it. You know, so yeah, oh, she's, yeah. she. I I thought she did a great job with her arc, uh, her her little tale, and you've got a great guest for Everfree Northwest. I mean, and oh, yeah, that's on and, uh, top. That's on top of Gilda, Sunset Shimmer, and yeah, Bob Biceps. <laughs> yeah, again, like uh, Michael Dobson with uh, Biceps. Hey, we're going to be his first uh, MLP fan con. Oh, really? No. And I bet he's excited. Like, I saw the picture of him on your site, and he looks exactly like how I would expect him to look. <laughs> it does look fantastic. Yeah. You know, they all look amazing. wonderful. Uh, and actually, heads up, we're going to be making an announcement tomorrow uh, for a new guest. Oh, oh awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, I'll, <laughs> uh, funny enough, I'll have to put that in next week's show, but still, uh, I'll, I'll announce that. Right, so everyone, if you're listening, that time has already probably passed, so you can check now, because <laughs> it will already be on. 
Yay. Yeah. Yeah, you can go to uh, EFNW.com, well, EverfreeNW.com, and uh, you should see our announcement there. Uh, we'll, of course, have it up on, uh, again, be sending it out to all the news blogs, so uh-huh. you, you can probably find it there as well. So uh, we'll, we'll, we, we will get the word out. Oh, you know <laughs> don't what, worry about that. You know what, Tim? Um, why don't you spoil us now? Because this episode will come out on Tuesday, and technically <laughs> Tuesday has been passed. So who who will be on I want to know. Uh, yeah, I promise uh, we not are... to tell anyone else. All right, I promise, Jim. <laughs> no one's going to believe yeah. you, Kitsu. No one will believe. That's actually right. No one will believe <laughs> anything I say. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll tell you. Well, uh, we're going to have a, a certain uh, dragon uh, slash mayor joining us. We're going to have uh, Kathy Westlock. Ooh, that's awesome. That is oh, dang it, I was thinking Stephen Magnet. <laughs> <laughs> I would also have gone for Stephen Magnet, yeah. <laughs> Still, I don't know. No, no, I think you think it's even okay. better. Katie Weislug, man. Katie Weislug. Wow, that's, a, that, that's amazing. How wow. are you getting all these people? Magic? <laughs> Bribery? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, yeah, I guess you could say. <laughs> you guys <laughs> <there's, laughs> know where all of them live. Do you, you live in Canada. Are you, are you kidnapping uh, them? And sending we're them close by? enough. <laughs> U.S. mail. I mean, like, people that are actually in uh, Canada uh, are cl- are pretty close. Um, I mean, Seattle is right by Vancouver. Um, actually, a funny thing, uh, myself and Light Solver, well, neither of us are in Seattle. I'm in Chicago. <laughs> Chicago? Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, in, I'm uh, in the Chicago area. I like your pizza, man. <laughs> yeah, Deep I'm, dish. I'm I'm the to go. Deep wow. dish is the way to go. You you guys are working really far from your jobs. Well, thankfully, a lot of I mean, like I come into the meetings when I can make the meetings via uh, stream and mm-hmm. Skype and uh, and Google Hangouts actually. Oh, okay. uh, and yeah, most of what I do uh, can be done via email and Skype. So uh, yeah, I mean, like uh, my other two uh, le- uh, my other actually have three other leads in uh, media. We have. Mark Herring, he is in charge of our uh, local media, so you really have to have somebody that's local to <laughs> handle local media. Oh, true, true. Uh, <laughs> and we also have Samul. Uh, he's in charge of our social media, so he wouldn't have to be in Seattle, but <laughs> right. uh, he is. And we actually have a third, Christina, and uh, she is in charge of promotions. Ah, all right. Uh, setting up uh, pre-con events to help promote us, uh, no, get, uh, get in touch with businesses to hand out promotional materials, that kind of thing. Oh, awesome, mm-hmm. awesome. And back on your guest, uh, that's amazing. Katy Westluck is a legend among the voice actors, and that's awesome of you to get her there. And, well, even more reason. I'm so jelly right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and me both. I'm strangely obsessed with Charger Jelly. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely an odd one part, right, in that song. Sorry, you say your jelly made me think of it. Uh, it's okay, it's no problem. And uh, just a couple more things. Uh, just want to go ahead and let everyone know that we have announced our vendors, uh, which they're on the website, everyandup.com slash vendors, so you can see everyone who's going to be there. Actually, two of our art contest winners are going to be vendoring this year. Oh, cool. Uh, and nice. I want everyone to remember the charity auction. Uh, on behalf of Seattle Children's Hospital, I mean, last year we raised twenty-one thousand and dollars and twenty-one thousand seventy dollars. Oh. We're hoping to break that this year. Uh, if you want some more details, if you want to, and if you want to donate items for the uh, charity auction, you can go to everfreenw.com slash charity. Well, I have a question for you, Tim. I asked this question a, a bit earlier uh, with light, so maybe you can feel this. But uh, I was. I was actually kind of curious because um, having joined the competition and I noticed that you have this recurring theme that seems to be echoing throughout all the things that you do, you know, the art competition, the writing competition, and your personal slogan is villains, rivals, friends. And I was actually kind of curious where you guys got this, uh, got the idea to go for this theme from. And uh, how can we see echoes of this theme uh, throughout the convention? Like, uh, are we are we going to be able to see this theme uh, being in in play? And how how so? Well, um, th- uh, we actually do have 
uh, one direct aspect in that uh, I believe part of the villain writing panel uh, will show the redemption of villains. Now, the show is very much focused, uh, has a lot of instances of villains becoming redeemed. And so this is basically uh, a theme of redemption in a lot of ways. It, it was uh, after the 2013 convention where we had a newspaper theme. Uh, we were tossing ideas around, and, well, this is the one that uh, got the most traction. And, again, it's a very, very poignant theme, if, uh, in my opinion. Again, just the idea that villains and rivals can eventually become friends. I mean, like, I got people like uh, Trixie or, no, Luna, right? Go, going from Nightmare Moon to Luna, and, uh, well, kind of disc, or he's more now like a anti-hero, if anything, but he's no longer, like, trying to, like, he's trying to mess win. everything up. Oh, he's just um, mischievous. <laughs> yeah, he's more like a mischievous uh, spirit now than, like, I, honestly, I never thought he was truly benevolent. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, and he was deaf, and he was a dull jerk, <laughs> but it's more, like, about having a good time rather than, oh, I want to be evil. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, it's it's an interesting theme, like, you know, the the idea of redemption. And, you know, I, I guess it leads into togetherness, which is basically what you're going for, because that's what cons are, isn't it? It's bring everyone together. Everyone yeah, has a good time. Yeah, I mean, the cons are oh yeah, now going to cool panels, being cool guests. But I think uh, the best part of any panel is, well, just meeting people that have similar interests to you. Uh, you already have a base of, oh, we both like this thing, so that um, you can go ahead and discuss that thing and build from there. Uh, meet uh, with uh, old friends, make new friends, um, in the, all in a family-friendly environment. So, I mean, you, you can feel, if you have kids, you can feel safe to bring your kids. Um, can I show I up as a villain? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, yes. Real life, no. Please, don't. Yeah, if you're like, I'm going to take all the muffins! Ah, ah, ah. Well, he'd probably be beaten up by all the Derpy cosplayers. <laughs> I want to kidnap Casey Weisluck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Don't uh, say security. that! <laughs> but no, you see, this is out, why right? we're stopping you at the game. <laughs> yeah, no, this is why Light has, like, an anti-Kitsune. <laughs> but yeah, in the end, uh, the theme is, it just, like, colors... Like uh, our promotions and our materials mm. and stuff, uh, and it may influence some of our panels. Um, ah. But it's more like a garnish over the uh, meal that mm. is up for Northwest. Awesome, awesome. awesome. pretty yeah. colors, and, so, and it uh, sounds like a delicious meal indeed. So I think everybody's going to look forward to it. Anyone who's thinking about uh, going to the con, don't think. Just go get your ticket right now. It sounds great. It's going to be great fun, and I think everyone's going to have a good time. Yeah. Indeed. Right. If you're flying out, I again, I recommend uh, getting a, uh, your flight squared away uh, soon. Um, I mean, once you get a month uh, before uh, an event, that's when the prices start going up uh, quite a bit. That's bad, and it's also the Fourth of July weekend. So, yeah, book now. <laughs> Happy birthday, America! America. <laughs> Yeah! Uh, yeah! <laughs> uh, I guess those are the questions, guys. That's it? it sure yeah, is. I'm done. Alright, and is there anything you need to add, Tim? Uh, or Light? Uh, no, I can't oh. really think of anything. Um, I think we've pretty much covered everything. Except, uh, uh, I just want to give a shout out to every everyone from every free Northwest, uh, the media team in particular, and I urge everyone listening to Definitely come to Everfree Northwest. Oh, we yeah. hope to see you there. Awesome. And Light, you wanted to say something? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, thanks. Thank you a lot for having us on and everything like that. You guys are awesome. Um, no problem. Also, uh, don't forget about uh, Front Page. She's ah, awesome yes. too. Indeedy, indeedy. So, anywho, um, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is shoutouts. And, well, Tim already said his shoutouts. Yeah, I'm just and, well, jumping the gun. Yeah. Word? I thought I thought I thought that was the shout out. <laughs> no, 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 not yet. But oh, anyway, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just like, oh, let's do this. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with. <laughs> oh my! Anywho, um, my first shout out goes to you, like, and to you, Tim. Thank you for being on, and thank you for thinking of us as a promotion outlet. It's awesome of you guys. Thank you for hey, thinking of us as a convention. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we just wish you could join us in Seattle. Yeah, that's the thing. And maybe next Please year. Please don't we'll taunt us, us, Tim. <laughs> um, to Seattle. Um, that's just mean. Seattle. That's just mean. I'm sorry. Hey, Tim. You know, when you send over my care package, right, you want to slip in a plane ticket? <laughs> <laughs> Along with that. Whoops. I actually left that in there. I'll pay, I'll pay for the postage. <laughs> postage. Oh, boy. Hey, wait a minute, maybe we can share yeah, okay. over. He's, he's it, considering it. It turns out that you're in the dog carrying cargo. <laughs> Dude, I would stuff myself in one of those dog carrying things if it meant I could go for cheap, okay? Oh. You guys are awesome. And also, thank, thank you, Romo. Awesome thank you. Too. And also, thank you, Romo and Kitsune. Thank you for being on and supporting me on this endeavor. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Uh, anyway, Rom, <laughs> shout outs from you. Shout out to all the happy people for being here, and thanks for letting me be part of the show. Sorry if I didn't talk much. I just didn't want to interrupt you guys. You're awesome. <laughs> oh, you're even cooler. Awesome. And Kitsune, what about you? Yeah, wow. Uh, so many things to say. I mean, uh, Light and Tim, it was really nice to have you on. You guys are super cool. And, you know, it just makes me feel like this con is in the best hands it could possibly be. So shout out to you guys for making this a success even before it started. And I definitely also want to give a little shout out to uh, Rebecca Choiquet. She's going to have a great time at the con as well. And Rebecca, if you're listening, I'm sorry I won't get to meet you this year, but there's always next time. Oh my god, what kind of relationship are you in with her? (laughs) Well, we'll see, Light, we'll see. After she gets all my messages and all my mail. <laughs> uh, I guess the fact us where I already did one of my shout outs, but uh, also a shout out to the Milo Investigations uh, fan oh, game yes. dev team. Uh, always gotta remember them. Uh, again, hey, uh, our first, yeah, I'm on that team, and actually our first case uh, has already been released uh, about a month ago, so you can go to uh, questionerdreamers.com and download. Um, I think one of the best, if not the best, and most involved MLP fan games out there. True that, true that. And it's, I think it's one of the most complete one out there that's playable. Oh, yeah. And actually, uh, and uh, Hell of uh, will be on this show next week, I believe. Yes, we're going to try that. I, I hope everything plans out. That, that's the thing. Dang, I wonder who will be doing that interview. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and, I like, I have personal vested interest in that, so I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, definitely, I'm definitely coming back for that one, man. So is uh, that how you get on the show? You're just here for whatever you want to be. What yeah. me? Yeah, I push yeah. myself around. I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> and like, what about you? Shout outs. Um, yeah, I guess I have like one more, and that would definitely be to uh, the horse game. <laughs> awesome group of people, really cool game that they're making. All righty then. All righty then. And thank you so much, guys. Once again, um, thank you so much for being on and being awesome. And moving on, um, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at adambiashow at gmail.com. And if you would like to email us personally, links are in the show notes. Also, you can reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at Show. CD Blood will, well, technically edit this show for long. It's just been a derpy day and you can reach me at norman sanzo i tweet about my problems sometimes uh problems this week really bad and also please subscribe and rate us on itunes and the youtubes and also stitcher radio and also like our facebook page yes we have the facebook page i have been norman sanzo i am romwald i am kitsune risu i am light i am bobby tim and i have nothing witty to say so goodbye guys Goodbye. Bye. When I step around, I hear the sound. Cook little club and up and down the street. The shuffle in a hoot. It surely proves that I'll see if all the days come through. Is 
all so vivid A friend so green and livid When we touched a bell have a weird thing going on in your general country and area when you were young where being bald was a thing? I guess. But nah, let's move on. Let's move on. Anyway. Because those are called gangs. You know? <laughs> I just... Anyway, let's move on to the next Was song. it also cool to have guns and tie bandanas around your head? <laughs> no, come on, man. <laughs> we, 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 done. Private pile. Look, I'm just I'm just making sure that as a child, you had the right influences. It was okay to turn down the shaving of the head. But then the next question is, you want to hop in my car and you can go shoot some cops? And that's okay, right? Uh, anywho, let's move on to the next news topic. <clears throat> Uh, but honestly speaking, my little ties, they're awesome. I want them so bad. Really? Yeah, I'm not even joking. The toilet cane pin, that's, that's so funny. Just just for the looks. Say that again <laughs> five times fast. What? Toilet cane pin. <laughs> toilet cane pin. Oh, toilet I, want, I want... I want Princess Celestia's shoes. That's what I want. What? They, they don't have it. They only have pins and the cutie marks. No, I want I want her actual shoes, like the shoes that she How wears. How are you gonna fit your feet into that? I don't care. I'll find a way. I'll put it on my fist and go around punching people. Right? Uh, I'm gonna make punching. a statement for My Little Pony. Right? Okay. Well, that okay. is that is a statement. <laughs> if that's the case, I want Doctor Hoops Tardis. <laughs> Uh, Why don't you get the actual Doctor Who Stardust? If you could choose between the pony version or the real Doctor Who Stardust, why are you going for the pony version? Get the because ponies are one. awesome. Get the real one, and then you can go back in time and invent My Little Pony, and then everything. Oh, man, I don't. I think I won't go there. No, no. I'm actually kind of curious. How easy would it be to insert him into, or well, how difficult would it be to insert him into the show? Just out of curiosity. Huh? It's no problem, really. It's just how. No, no, I don't want. I'm not really, uh, I don't like looking to make you do it or anything like that. I'm just honestly curious. Oh, he'll do anything. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no like, I'm honestly curious. How easy would it be just to insert like some think... random person into a show that had already happened? Uh, well, you could, right? Yeah, it's no problem. Mm-hmm. I, it's well, not the, the first time. The difficulty is actually just first, to get really? back. Yeah, it's not, it's not that hard. And, okay, uh, if we really want to do it, uh, I could just try it now. Okay, three, two, one. Celebrate your country by blowing up a little chunk of it. 
in the notes. Actually, it's from China, usually, so that's <laughs> kind of comical. It's, 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 it's basically our plan to whittle away at you one, you know, one year at a time. Like, one hand at a time. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just going to sell you these shoddy uh, fireworks. Uh, what else? Strange. Uh, I, I, I used to go to a party uh, before I'm doing this, and before... I, I live in uh, the Exo Zola for a bit, so when I was there, of yeah. course, I didn't do it, but... There's been, year after year, a uh, 4th of July party put on by a group of my friends, and uh, uh, it takes place at my friend's uh, family's house, and uh, it's unincorporated, so that helps. Uh, <laughs> basically, it, it means the cops don't mess with us, <laughs> don't mess with what happens, which is we have pretty much... 20, 30 minutes of constant fireworks at one uh, at one time. Uh, it's that, that it's crazy. pretty insane. That the craziest crazy. thing that I've never done because it's too much is some, uh, some of the guys have Roman candle fights oh, at God. this party. Oh. Yeah, what, it's what, are, what are Roman candles again? They, well, they shoot these little kind of... Uh, well, I don't know what they are. They're like little balls of flame and yeah. stuff. <laughs> uh, little fireworks. So, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can blame at people in Shum, which is incredibly dangerous, and don't do it. My friends are dumb. <laughs> but, uh, you know what's yeah, so... really cool to do? Shoot bottle rockets oh, while holding them. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I accidentally did that one time. Oh. What, once? I think you learned your lesson. <laughs> Just yeah, once. We, we Just Americans are crazy. <laughs> we are. We are crazy and I mean, stupid. Hey, and, man, hey, how are we still alive? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, well, this this one is a lot of and the other the rest of the world's like I am messing with that. <laughs> I I find myself wanting to join in this conversation so much. <laughs> Indeed, but but anywho, um, uh, three. Well, you guys have yeah, you guys have fun, so yeah. much fun. You know, you know what we do every year for our uh, Asian like you know uh, country's birthday, we go for our mandatory three hour brainwashing <laughs> session. <laughs> <laughs> this is you, my friend. We yeah, always have a brainwashing section, like, all the time. Just come out. Hey, oh, yeah, China! We have a brainwashing section, so. too. We just include fireworks in the brainwashing <laughs> section. It's all the pretty lights, right? Uh, it's pretty lights. It's awesome. Pretty lights and hidden to it. That's what you guys got. <laughs> but anywho, um, <clears throat> let me see. Okay, three, two...